An unexpected tremor shook parts of the Northeast today, with the epicenter near Paramus, New Jersey. Residents in New York and New Jersey reported feeling light shaking, and some even described hearing a loud boom that rattled their homes. The U.S. Geological Survey USGS, recorded the earthquake as a 2.4 magnitude event, which occurred just after 1 p.m. While relatively mild, the quake sparked discussions on social media, with many sharing their experiences and speculating about what had happened. In this video, we'll dive into what caused the quake, its significance for the region, and what experts are saying about the risk of future seismic activity. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more updates on events like this. Earthquakes in the Northeast are not common, but they do happen. Today's tremor, though minor, was felt as far as Connecticut and Pennsylvania. In New Jersey, residents in towns like Rochelle Park, New Milford, and Westwood reported feeling their homes shake. Some compared the sensation to a heavy truck crashing nearby, while others thought it might have been an explosion. For most, it was a brief jolt that quickly passed, but left them wondering about the possibility of something larger in the future. This isn't the first time the region has experienced seismic activity. Just last year, in April 2024, a 4.8 magnitude earthquake struck the area, making it one of the strongest quakes in recent memory. That quake was followed by numerous aftershocks, some reaching up to a 4.0 magnitude. The Ramapo Fault, a geological feature that runs through parts of New York, New Jersey, and Pennsylvania, is often cited as the source of such events. While this fault line is much less active than those on the west coast, it still holds the potential for occasional tremors. Geologists also point to a fascinating theory known as glacial rebound to explain some of the seismic activity in the region. Thousands of years ago, the northeast was covered by massive glaciers that exerted tremendous pressure on the Earth's crust. As these glaciers melted and receded, the land began to slowly adjust, a process that continues even today. This adjustment can cause shifts in the Earth's crust, leading to small earthquakes like the one we experience today. It's a reminder that the Earth's history is constantly shaping its present. The U.S. Geological Survey's updated seismic risk map highlights that nearly 75% of the United States has some potential for earthquake activity. While the highest risk areas remain places like California, Alaska, and the Pacific Northwest, regions in the central and eastern U.S. are not entirely exempt. Even in areas where quakes are rare, scientists emphasize the importance of preparation. Tools like the seismic risk map are invaluable for designing safe for buildings and improving emergency response plans, ensuring that communities are better equipped for the unexpected. For most people, today's tremor was a wake-up call rather than a cause for alarm. Social media lit up with reactions, ranging from humorous anecdotes to serious concerns. Many residents shared their confusion, initially mistaking the quake for a heavy truck or an unexpected explosion. These moments of uncertainty highlight how unfamiliar many in the region are with earthquakes, reinforcing the need for public awareness and education about seismic safety. Events like today's are reminders of how interconnected we are with the forces of nature. Even in regions where earthquakes are uncommon, the Earth's shifting plates can still make their presence known. Experts recommend basic preparedness steps, such as knowing how to drop, cover, and hold on during a quake, and having an emergency kit ready just in case. These small measures can make a big difference, even in areas where earthquakes are rare. While today's earthquake caused no damage or injuries, it serves as a valuable reminder of the need to stay informed and prepared. Whether it's understanding local fault lines or recognizing the signs of a potential aftershock, being proactive can help mitigate risks. The Earth is constantly in motion, and while we can't predict every event, we can take steps to ensure our safety when they occur. For the residents of New York and New Jersey, today's quake was a minor shakeup, one that left many talking, but thankfully caused no harm. The United States has experienced its share of devastating earthquakes over the years, each leaving behind a trail of destruction and a lasting impact on affected communities. These seismic events, while varied in magnitude and location, serve as reminders of the Earth's unpredictable power. One of the most infamous earthquakes in modern U.S. history is the Northridge earthquake, which struck the Los Angeles area on January 17, 1994. With a magnitude of 6.7, it caused widespread devastation, collapsing freeways, damaging buildings, and leaving nearly 60 people
people dead. Thousands were injured, and the financial toll exceeded $20 billion, making it one of the costliest natural disasters in U.S. history. The quake exposed weaknesses in infrastructure and led to significant changes in building codes to improve earthquake resilience in high-risk areas. Fast forward to March 27, 1964, when Alaska experienced the strongest earthquake in U.S. history and the second most powerful ever recorded globally. The magnitude 9.2 Great Alaska an earthquake lasted over four minutes and caused extensive damage across the state. The ensuing tsunamis devastated coastal communities, killing 131 people and destroying entire towns. This disaster highlighted the need for better tsunami warning systems, which have since been significantly improved. In 2001, the Nisqually earthquake struck Washington state with a magnitude of 6.8. Centered near Olympia, the quake caused over $2 billion in damages, but remarkably resulted in only one direct fatality, thanks to modern building standards. The event was a wake-up call for the Pacific Northwest, where the Cascade the subduction zone poses the risk of a far larger earthquake that could rival or exceed the destruction of the 2011 Japan earthquake. California has long been a hotspot for seismic activity, and the 1989 Loma Prieta earthquake remains one of the most memorable. With a magnitude of 6.9, it struck during the World Series, earning it the nickname World Series Earthquake. The Bay Area suffered significant damage, including the collapse of a section of the San Francisco-Oakland Bay Bridge. 63 people lost their lives, and thousands were injured. The disaster underscored the need for improved structural engineering, particularly particularly in older bridges and highways. The 2019 Ridgecrest earthquakes in Southern California served as another reminder of the state's vulnerability. A magnitude 6.4 quake on July 4th was followed by a stronger 7.1 quake the next day, marking the largest seismic events in California in two decades. Fortunately, due to their remote location, the quakes caused relatively little damage and no fatalities. However, they highlighted the importance of preparing for a larger event, particularly in more densely populated areas. Looking to the Midwest, the New Madrid Seismic Zone is an area of concern, though it hasn't produced a major quake in recent years. However, it was the site of a series of massive earthquakes in 1811 and 1812, including one estimated at magnitude 7.5. These quakes were so powerful that they reportedly caused the Mississippi River to flow backward temporarily. While the region has remained relatively quiet since then, experts warn that the risk of another major event remains. Earthquakes in unexpected places also remind us that no region is entirely immune. The 2011 Virginia earthquake, with a magnitude of 5.8, was felt as far away as New York City and Washington, D.C. It caused damage to iconic landmarks like the Washington Monument and the National Cathedral. This event emphasized that even areas not typically associated with earthquakes can experience significant impacts when one occurs. These devastating events underscore the importance of preparedness and resilience. Advances in science and technology, such as improved seismic mapping and early warning systems, have made communities safer. However, the unpredictability of earthquakes means that ongoing efforts to strengthen infrastructure, educate the public, and plan for emergencies are essential. By learning from these past disasters, we can work toward minimizing the impact of future earthquakes, ensuring that when the ground shakes again, we'll be ready.